Today we're going to dive into what cuticle actually is because I still it's 2023 and people are still mixing it up with different parts of the nail. And I think it's really important that we actually know what cuticle is because when you go to appointments and you get your nails done, if you don't have good communication with the nail tech, then that can lead to some issues with your service. So we're going to explain what cuticle actually is and I'm going to show you it super close up because I have the most awesome new toy. It is the BenQ Idea Cam S1 Pro. Let me just show you what cuticle is through this Idea Cam. It's insane. So it comes with a macro lens, and I'm going to use this to show you what cuticle actually is. So I'm going to pop it on, and then I'm going to take the camera off. And it just easily comes off. Everything's magnetic, too, which I think is super cool. So my nails are disgusting, and I saved it to be disgusting for this video. But look at this photo. Like, look how the quality is here, first off. I'm shook that this is a webcam, like this is insane. So there's the easy little button on the camera that I'm pressing and it's going to freeze the frame. I can also add a light here so we can see even better. I, I can't get over this, it's insane. Okay, so we're gonna take a little screenshot here. We're gonna freeze it and then I can put that down. And I'm just going to use this program to show you with red, we're going to draw. So everyone thinks that this area here is your cuticle, this whole line, right? But that's not actually your cuticle. This white stuff that I pushed up so you could see it, that's cuticle. And this is actually all over here, you just can't see it until you start to push it up. So what happens is we're cutting, when you go to the salon, you typically get this cut and this is the visible part of the epidicium. It's your proximal nail fold. And that's live skin. That's helping, I mean, every part of your nail has a purpose, even the cuticle. Um, but it's it's helping protect your matrix where the nail cells are born uh, are produced from infection. It's protecting anything foreign from going inside of your body. So it's really important to keep that intact. And a lot of people cut it and I know it gets frustrating because it can get thicker and you just want to get rid of it. But the reality is if you keep cutting this, it's only going to keep getting coarser and thicker. It's like calloused skin. It's just going to keep fighting back on you because it needs to be there. It has to be there. So what you do is you instead just gently push that back and you use cuticle oil. And I swear to you, you will see a huge reduction in that calloused skin. It will get much smaller and tighter and you won't have to worry about ever cutting it. Now, if it is like this skin over here, which is white, that's a hangnail. Any, any dead skin that's around the nail plate, that's considered a hangnail. And if it is white, it is dead, it is separated, you can cut that. That is okay to cut. But if it is healthy looking skin, like the skin here, you do not want to cut that. So now the cuticle that we're talking about here, it's actually dead skin that grows on the nail plate and it's creating an even tighter seal between your proximal nail fold and your nail plate. And it needs to be there, it's always going to have to be there, but it doesn't need to be on the nail, the visible part of the nail, right? So as long as it's back protecting the matrix underneath the proximal nail fold, you're safe. But the thing about cuticle is, is that cuticle is skin, right? And nail products are not meant to adhere to skin. They're meant to adhere to the natural nail plate. So if you forget to push back and remove the cuticle properly, if cuticle is still intact on the nail plate when you apply your nail products, whether it's polish, whether it's gel, whatever it is, acrylic, that product will start to lift at the base where the cuticle is because it is not designed to adhere to skin. I will put links to some really good research that um, Doug Shun has done on the nail anatomy and making sure that, you know, a bunch of doctors and scientists and nail techs were included in research to um, define the, the parts of the nail plate so that we can all understand the terminology here because states, state board, everybody still use the wrong terminology and 
it's getting really frustrating and it actually hinders the growth of our our industry when we're using incorrect terminology and not knowing what we're talking about when certain things are miscommunicating with clients. So that's my spiel on what cuticle is. And I'm just like, look at like the quality is insane. I can't get over this. I'm gonna like this is my new favorite thing ever. If you are teaching online at all, you have to have this. You can just do so much with it. It's so like and even the base here, like this is genius. The weight on the back of it. My old webcam was horrendous and it would keep falling off and this is just chef's kiss so this part actually moves up and down so i can just if i really wanted to put something down here like a textbook like you can do document reading with it all you have to do i'm gonna take this off all you have to do is literally just tilt it down like insane but the Inspire program that you run it with is mind-blowing to me. The controls on this, like I can zoom, like look how close I can zoom in on this. You can just see so much. It's so awesome. Like it just opens up so many new doors. So if you're looking for something super high quality, I'm sure there are so many people that are so frustrated with the quality of all the other tools that we've tried out there. <laughs> This is the holy grail. They did not pay me for this. They did send me this so I could check it out, but I have never been so impressed with something that I've gotten from a brand before. So I think you should definitely check this out. I'll put links for everything down below. So let people know, spread the word about Cuticle. And if you're interested in learning more about the BenQ Idea Cam, I'm gonna do a little unboxing of when I first opened it so you can see everything that comes inside of it. So inside you'll see the BenQ Idea Cam, which has the magnetic docking area on the bottom and two buttons on top, one for the light and one to freeze frame. It comes with a magnetic macro lens, which is my favorite thing, and also a lens cover to keep it safe and clean. The dock magnetizes to the camera to keep it on, and you can even attach this to a tripod if you need. The controller allows you to manual focus, freeze frame, mute your mic, swap between auto and manual focus, and take a photo. And the outside of the wheel rotates so you can zoom in and out super easily. That's that. I hope you learned a bunch and I'll see you next time.